it is pretty clear that Zelensky has no interest in freedom and democracy. In fact, Zelensky is far closer to Lenin than to George Washington. He is a dictator. He is a dangerous authoritarian who has used $100 billion in U.S. tax dollars to erect a one-party police state in Ukraine. And that's not an overstatement. Over the past year, Zelensky has banned opposition parties. He shut down critical media by force. He's arrested his political opponents. He has sent soldiers into churches. Zelensky's secret police have raided monasteries across Ukraine, even a convent full of nuns, and arrested dozens of priests for no justifiable reason whatsoever and in clear violation of the Ukrainian constitution, which no longer matters. And in the face of this, the Biden administration has said nothing, not one word. Instead, they just continue to push to send Zelensky more tax dollars. So naturally, Zelensky has become much bolder. Why wouldn't he? Last week, he announced his plan to ban an entire religion, the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, and to seize its property, all for being insufficiently loyal to his regime. And he said it out loud. Watch this. We have to create such conditions when any people dependent on the country aggressor won't be able to manipulate Ukrainians and weaken Ukraine from within. First, the National Security and Defense Council instructed the government to submit to the Verkhovna Rada, a draft law on making it impossible for religious organizations affiliated with centers of influence in the Russian Federation to operate in Ukraine. A free country does not ban a major religion just because it's not fully on board with the political program of the people running the country. But Zelensky is doing that, and his cabinet is now devising ways to punish Christians for practicing their banned ancient religion in Ukraine. Quote, personal economic and restrictive sanctions will be applied to any Christian caught worshiping in unapproved ways. Now, the Ukrainian Orthodox Church is more than a thousand years old. With the full backing of the Joe Biden administration and the U.S. Congress, Zelensky has decided to ban it. 